In the last episode, we met up with Hayati in Trabzon and had a great time hanging out around the fishing port. In this episode, our adventure around Trabzon continues. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we've jumped into their car because it's going to be easier for parking in the city. And Trudy's left in secure parking by the fishing houses and the harbour. See you in a bit, Trudy. Okay, thank you very much for this morning. That's all. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and hello, Uncle Nuri. <laughs> and Uncle Nuri does couch surfing. He's really well known in this area for taking in travelers, showing them around town, and sharing the experience of Trabzon. So this bread that you can see behind us is a traditional bread from Trabzon. It's huge! Wow! Oh wow, look, they got the fire. Oh look, pide! Oh, pide! This one, traditional pide. And this one, oh me! Ah, lovely! One? How cool is this, seeing the, uh, the pide being made and the, the wood-fired oven that you can see behind us. Is that cheese? Small. Small, small. Teşekkür Oh, it's gone. Magic. I think that's possibly the biggest wood-fired oven I have seen. It's huge. You got the room where they're making all yeah. the dough. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but this restaurant is amazing. Look at these. Look at these lights. Lovely, isn't it? It's beautiful. This is what happens when you go on a walking food tour. Is it a walking food tour? I think so. <laughs> I don't know. You just need baggy trousers. <laughs> we're just going with the flow today because uh, we Nuri's very kindly showing us around. Oh, look at that. Wow. That looks amazing. It really does. It's like, it's not like P-Day, it's oh, actually... It's very hot. It's cheesy P-Day is very, very thin. This is like a Trabzon bread, which is uh, thicker than P-Day and covered in cheese. And it looks absolutely delicious, but it's very hot because it's just come out of that wood-fired oven. Okay. I think I'm probably going to burn myself because it's still very hot. Smells lovely. It's very nice cheese. It's that really cheesy cheese. I bet that's lovely, isn't it? It smells lovely. Huh? That's delicious. Best way to start the walk off around Trabzon. I've just asked the lovely lady who's serving at the counter, what do you call it? And it's Peneri Pita. There you go. Which I think is Peneri, is cheese, Pita. Well, that was a delicious lunch and uh, now we're just going to have a walk around uh, Old Town here in Trabzon. Such a hustly bustly town, it's really big. So 
We've just arrived at an indoor market. Oh, amazing. Let's go and have a little look around. When we went to Central America this time last year, we had a field day in all the marketplaces. Obviously times have changed. Everyone has to wear a mask inside or at least cover something on their face um, and keep their distance. But it's where you find all the fresh produce. It's where you find all the local stores. There's people that have just pitched up from the countryside and got little tables laid out. You've got red chilies hanging up, you've got cheeses, panera, you've got all the different types of cheeses. My favorite thing about markets is it's all fresh in season. None of it is imported. This is all local stuff. So we're looking at all the different types of flowers here. Corn, different flowers. <laughs> wow all this wonderful produce it's absolutely amazing look at all this veg as we always say you come into a market in a town and it really gives you a feel for the heart of the city and this indoor market is a wonderful place to walk around and uh, just see all the local produce and uh, soak up the atmosphere. So we're just walking through a nice bit of greenery in the city centre here. And uh, it's nice and green right next to what looks like the wall of the city or the castle. So 4,000 years ago, this used to be a hill and actually they flattened the top of this hill to create the original city of Trabzon. in Trabzon and it's a lovely place to come it's really peaceful you can see some statues some old buildings that used to be churches and of course you can have a cup of tea and then just absorb the lovely relaxing atmosphere Until 1461, this absolutely beautiful building was a church. And then after that time in the Ottoman Empire, it was turned into this beautiful mosque. In fact, at that time, this building was the center of Trabzon city. the original mosaic floor and look at this mosaic floor I don't know whether you can see that that would Amazing. have been the original mosaic the original floor. floor wow that's glorious walking around look at this wonderful old building here it gives you the opportunity to actually see how they would have built it. 60 yıl önce ben şu binanın girişinin olduğu yerde bizim evimiz vardı. Orada doğdu. 60 years ago, we had our house at the entrance of that building. I was born there. So this little area here, it used to be a little village and is actually where Nuri was born in this area. Okay, so we've arrived at the main high street. It's a pedestrian area. Lots of shopping and uh, coffee shops 
<laughs> Check out these tubs of olives. That is some serious olives in that shop. Oh, there you go. Silmem. It's that style, is it? Yeah, and it's the Silmem is the name of the town in this area of Trabzon that is specifically famous for making knives. Wow. Silmene. These beautiful chef knives here. <laughs> Look at that. I was just about to say the Turkish residents. Our Turkish ID cards have arrived at our Turkish address. So we're gonna be getting those in the next couple of weeks. Woohoo! We've obviously been blessed to have a tour guide called Nuri, but we are astounded at how beautiful um, this, this city is. There's so much to see here and it's got everything from down sitting by the relaxing water to coming to Old Town and now into this really cosmopolitan, funky area with all the shops and cafes. It's just a beautiful city. So this building here is the old town hall and now houses the tourist information office. Nuri's brought us down to this lovely little spot and he pointed out to a rock formation that is called the Elephant's Foot. Apparently there are only two in the world and the other one is in Argentina. We thought we would stop for a lemonade by the sea, cheers, and uh, just have a bit of a refresher. Walking down the street, we've come to a region or an area where they just sell cookware, metalware, teapots. and have a look at the layout of one of these hotels. So the hotel for the people would have been at the top and then the animals would have been stabled inside these archways. How exciting! And now it's an art gallery. And now it's being used as an art gallery. So ordinarily, before the virus hit um, this region, this area would be used for handicrafts and women would come here and make beautiful local products. Uh, but obviously now due to the corona situation, the women here are still working, but they're making masks for the local area. O dönemde çok değerli şeylerin, altın, gümüş, bakır gibi şeylerin. This is Trabzon's oldest trade. Oldest trade. It's called Bedesin Birhan, where valuable things were produced at that time, such as gold, silver, and copper. So we're going to go in and have a little look. What a fascinating building. Wow. Look, look up. And you can see all the way up there. Water, soup? Oh, that was the old well. Wow. Walking around these little side streets is absolutely fascinating. It's been a really wonderful walk around Traps on today. There's just so much to see. It's, it's more than I expected. It's a really interesting place. Uh, if you do come down along the Black Sea, I would definitely recommend taking the time to spend a day having a look, a look around the city. So Nuri's driven us up to Boz Tepe, 
which gives us a wonderful aerial view over the city of Trabzon and uh, if you do come to Trabzon you should definitely come up here because the views here are amazing I bet the sunset's amazing from up here yeah. wow superb view so to give you a sense of direction the uh, we stopped and had a drink down here and then that is where we first parked this morning and where we parked for the laundry and this is all of traps on the old town where we've just walked around is all down here what a view and when you come up the top there is a photographer who will happily take your photograph in fact he's just taken a photograph of us cue the photo looking right up here wow what a view and the building down there that you can see that's visible right smack in the middle of the road uh, was it was actually the American consulate about a hundred years ago and uh, Nuri was also saying that this massive big coastal road that goes all the way as far as the eye can see did not actually exist until 1955 and it just goes on forever and ever and ever all the way around Nuri was also saying that this this uh, area here up until 1995 used to be used as a cruise ship port and boats would go off into Russia and Istanbul and all over uh, but now it's just used for trade and cargo in Trabzon they also have an airport just up here and it's internal flights only so you'd have to fly from Istanbul to here but they have an airport here thank you very much Nori <laughs> bye that was a superb day so interesting Trudy is here all good we're back home my name is Munira my name is Ah, from Trabzon Ah. is this from your family? how are you? Fakir Ah. Nasir Sen Oh, money. Do you want no, money? No money. <laughs> no money. <laughs> oh. 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 What's happening? Oh. You're still there. It's so early. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more, make sure you click the subscribe button below and the bell notification so you don't miss an episode. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.